Hello, my name is Nikolai Green and in today's video I'll show you how to create a moody film inspired look using Luminar Neo. We'll go through step by step how I get the colors to make it feel more nostalgic and some of the creative ways you can use Luminar Neo to get exactly the look you want. So let's just jump into the software. Alright, so we're now inside of Luminar Neo and I've chosen this photo to edit because I really think it fits the moody film look that we're trying to recreate here. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crop it for Instagram. So we go into the crop tool, crop it for 4x5 and make sure the composition is how we want it to be. Then we're gonna do some basic adjustments to contrast, exposure and saturation. So we go into the develop tab here and press auto adjust which just make everything easy. We're gonna turn up the smart contrast a tiny bit here to get some more contrast down here and for the subject itself as well. We're gonna go into the enhance AI and turn up the ascent here just a tiny bit as well and then we're gonna turn up the sky in half so a tiny bit as well the last thing we're gonna do in the essentials tab is to go into the vignette and then we're just gonna turn that a tiny bit down to get some vignetting on the photo itself to emphasize the motion blur that we added and we have in this photo uh, we took this motion blur on site so it's not something i've added afterwards but we're just making making sure that it fits the motion blur and the look overall. Then we're gonna go into the mood tab here because we're gonna add a lot. We're going to the lots here and then I really like to go into the creative one. And then because we're gonna recreate like the, the Kodak film look, we're gonna use the Kodak Chrome 3 and add that. We can always dial up the amount dial here if we want to add a bit more, but I really liked it on 30% here. We are gonna add a tiny bit of contrast here and then we're gonna remove some saturation because I really feel like the blues up here is very saturated. Next thing we're gonna do is go into toning because we want to add some colors into the highlights and the shadows separately. We're gonna turn up the saturation here so we can see what we're working with and then we're gonna move it over to more of a greenish look here. And then we go into the highlights, turn that up as well. You can see it affects the photo here and then we're gonna move that over to Kind of a green orange look here and then we're gonna turn that down a tiny bit again one thing i really like to add and just to get a bit creative and add something that you don't see that much is go into the mystical tab and then just turn that up a tiny bit it just adds a bit more of the dark blurriness and a bit of glow to the photo which i really like and we can always like smoothen it out a bit if we want to and then the last creative thing we're gonna do is to obviously add some film grain i really like adding film grain especially on photos like these where you want like the analog and natural look of everything. I'm gonna go down to the size and roughness and then we can adjust everything here. But we do want it to be a bit rough to be honest and maybe turn down the amount a bit. And then the last thing I want to do is to actually go into the color tab. So we're going into the essentials again just because I do want to play around with some of the colors and saturation here. We're gonna go into the hue tab down at the HSL and then we're gonna go into the cyan and just dial that over to the green a bit. You can see like the colors on the water here is it's affecting a lot uh, and we do want that a bit green cyan colors and then the blue we're gonna turn that over to the cyan here just because I do feel like the blues was a bit too much. We're then gonna go into saturation and then turn down the blues a bit so we have a bit of more of a raw, raw kind of desaturated look overall. And then we're basically done. I'm gonna show you the before and after on the screen now. And to be honest, I really love editing my digital photos into kind of an analog film moody look. And Luminar Neo just makes everything so easy with all the features and AI tools it has built into the program. I really hope you like the edit that I made. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed editing this photo with this moody film look. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think and I will see you very very soon again.